This story was actually published on another channel of ours, but since we're in Hawaii, I'd like to reintroduce it, focusing more on the meaning of being in Hawaii. Hawaii is one of the finest destinations for tourists. Beautiful beaches, resort atmosphere, and not to forget, the welcoming aloha spirit attract many. But is that all that you feel about Hawaii? Let's explore deeper and discover the secrets of what Hawaii truly has to offer. It is said that each country in the world has its own role or characteristic, likened to the human body. Brazil is said to be the lungs of the earth, India the womb of the earth, Japan the brain of the earth, and such. Hawaii is said to be the navel of the earth, purifying everything including water, air, and energy. Not only that, Hawaii is said to be a wonderful place where the energy of God, or rather the creator of the universe, is connected to the earth, just as a human baby is connected to its mother by an umbilical cord. But that's not all. There is a place called the Marine Sanctuary further northwest of Niihau Island, the northwesternmost island of the Hawaiian Islands. Its name is Papahanaumoku Akea. Some of you may have heard of it, but it is actually originally an intergalactic word. Papahanaumoku represents the goddess of Mother Earth, and Uakea represents the god of heavenly sky, and Papahanaumoku Akea is the place where these two meet. Now only this marine protected area bears this name, but in the past, the whole of Hawaii was called by this sacred name. In cosmology, Hawaii is said to be the home of all life, where the goddess of Mother Earth and the god of Heavenly Sky are united and dwell, and also the home of life where souls return after death. So Hawaii is a precious place with an incredibly high energy. Our guide told us that Hawaii is the best place to transition to the fifth dimension. Originally, this land was deeply connected to the universe and is said to be where the continent of Lemuria was located. Lemuria is the only civilization, the history of the earth, that realized utopia. And from what I intuitively understand, it seems to have flourished until about 72,000 years ago. The civilization of Atlantis and Mu existed until 12,000 years ago, and other civilizations that have repeated every 12,000 years have been destroyed by natural disasters and wars. So why did the Lemurian civilization, which had reached such a high level of consciousness, disappear? It seems that they did not perish, but migrated to another planet. In my personal perspective, I think the planet they migrated to was Arcturus, after building a fifth dimensional civilization on Earth. By the way, Arcturians seems to have already evolved to much higher level of consciousness. While unity had prevailed in everyone's consciousness in Lemurian time, it has become a thing of the distant past, as division and bipolarization have progressed to an extreme in today's civilization. However, as ascension of the Earth progresses, more and more people are awakening from the illusion of division and regaining this sense of unity and integrated consciousness. The awakening of each individual will accelerate the ascension of the Earth and the galaxy and contribute to easing the burden of the cataclysms experienced in the progress. The continent of Lemuria sank into the sea due to subsequent tectonic deformations, but part of it remains as the Hawaiian Islands. Mauna Kea on the big island of Hawaii rises from the bottom of the ocean for over 10,000 meters with 4,200 meters above sea level. This is higher than Mount Everest. Lastly, there's a Hawaiian song that expresses this place where Mother Earth and Father Sky meet. Kawai lehua aalaka honua. The semantic translation is, water is a gift of life from the sky. Let's listen to it. 
Oh 